Hey YouTube, this next iCast review will be on Scott McLaughlin's 2020 Shell V Power Nitro Plus car for Team Penske. This is a beautiful die cast I picked up from Toronto Motorsports over at Mid Ohio Sports Car Course. That was the place I picked it up from. They uh, had they had their little pip pickup uh, trailer, and uh, they had some stuff being sold there. And I was like, you know what? I really would like to have that Scott McLaughlin car because I never had it before. And I was like, you know, I would like to have this car. And um, they sold it to me for about sixty-one dollars, I believe it was, which was a great, great deal. But uh, yes, this car is a fantastic looking looking car, and I really think that you know many of the Scott McLaughlin fans, especially the ones down in Australia, are gonna definitely want to pick one of these up. This is a great looking diecast to have, and I do believe Authentic Collectibles will be making a 118 scale version of this as well. But this that will be in the road course configuration, the proper road course area configuration but it is a little expensive so i went with the cheap route and i went with the green light one and i think that you know as far as authenticity goes it is definitely not authentic because this car was run at st petersburg and it had the road course configuration aero kits however this car was approved and made before the road course kit was made so of course this is on the super speedway configuration kit which is wrong but you know at least we can say that hey we got a Shell V-Power Nitro Plus car being made. So let's take this out of the way for a split second. And let's go to the boring part, which is the box. And now the box is the 2020 box. And it has Scott McLaughlin's name into the IndyCar series. And the box matches delivery, of course. And you got three NTT IndyCar series and Team Penske surrounding the inner side of the box. Got the... Got all the in-series information here. Of course, the... Uh, schedule has been eliminated because that has changed so God gave it much last year. Got Scott McLaughlin's number three back here, and this reminds me so much of Elio's number three when you were for Shell. And it got the copyright information here, got all the serious information there. 118 scale adult collectible. And all the copyright crap at the bottom here. So let's take this out of the way here and let's begin the part that we care about most, which is the car itself. Put this out of the way for a second. There we go. Now, this particular car here is going to hold a special place in a lot of people's hearts because a lot of us are Scott McLaughlin fans, including myself from the V8 Supercar Series. And it was really nice to see him compete in the NTT IndyCar Series for one race last year. Not only that, but now he's full-time in IndyCar and he's a clear favorite for Rookie of the Year, of course, because he's the only one that's competing full-time. But um, this car is definitely going to be a hot seller. And a lot of the people down in Australia are going to be wanting to collect this. So wherever you are in the world watching this video, I appreciate you tuning in. And, uh, you know, I think that this is going to be a great car to have there for you guys. And I'm really happy to review this because, let me tell you, anything Scott McLaughlin's going to sell. And when the PBG car comes in, that's going to be the next real hot car to get along with the Paddle Ward. Paddle Ward's car is going to be pretty popular and it's going to be a hard one to get. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over some of the sponsors of this car here. We got ourselves Delara, Pure Tech, I got Pennzoil, Chevrolet, NTT IndyCar Series, got number three, got the Shell logos, you got the Firestone logos, you got Siemens, got McLaughlin's name on the, on the arrow screen here, got the Chevrolet NTD in the car series logo, which is a little bit crooked on the arrow screen, unfortunately. Got number three, Speedway. Got Hitachi on the front wing here. Got the Firestone tires, which they're a little bit skewed on this car for some reason. That's a little bit weird. These tires are a little bit uh, skewed to the right. Got Shell Power Nitro Plus. Got the Verizon logo. Penske truck rental. PPG Snap On. Chevrolet Pure Tech. Uh, P1 NTD Firestone. Firestone tires again. Got number three. Shell V Power Nitro Plus on the rear wing. And you got the Team Penske gearbox here. Got all the onboard starter. Got the rear diffuser and everything. The suspension pieces. They're all back here. Which that looks pretty darn cool if you ask me. And the side the same as the left. So the main colors of this car are red white and yellow 
and that's the typical colors for the Penske uh, Shell V Power Nitro Plus cars as of late. I mean, I remember I seem to remember the days when Elliot was competing in this car, especially with the uh, old Aero Kid and the um, the uh, Aero Kid era, and they put it on the DW12 mold, unfortunately. So this is a proper car to have, minus of course you know the rear wings and the front wings. But you can definitely kind of say this is kind of like a Joseph Newgarden car, pretty much, except that it's got McLaughlin's number and name on it. But really cool looking race car to have there, guys. Um, it's going to be a pretty popular one to get. It's not the top, that's not like the top five of the priority list, but it is definitely one that you should probably not sleep on sometime in the near future because it is going to be really hard to find come in the coming weeks and months. So here we go. Let's get this on right here. The livery starts off with a front wing here that is all colored red with a white and yellow stripes. And the Penske, is it, it's basically the signature Penske livery except for one minor change here. Got the yellow stripe that kind of goes right around towards the rear of the car and wraps around the car pretty much. Then you got a yellow stripe here and underneath that is all colored white. But pretty much, it's pretty much the same identical Penske livery pretty much except for a few minor differences. The air screen is white, the TV pod is red, the roll hoop is white, the dorsal fin is red, and the engine cover is mainly white with that yellow stripe on it. Underneath that's all red. The wheel ramps are red, and the rear wing is colored red. That's basically your main livery review there, pretty much. And of course, the back of the car again, all that fantastic stuff back there. And the side the same as the left. So... Authenticity, this car gets a pretty bad rating, but as far as coolness goes, it gets an absolute 9 out of 10. I think it's a pretty look cool looking race car. I think it's, you know, finally we got a Shell Vipo Nitro Plus car being made, but unfortunately it's not Joseph Newgarden. It is, it is the wrong car. It's the one that competed in St. Petersburg, and it's on the wrong Arrow Kid, but I can't complain. You know, it's definitely a nice car to have, and I would recommend this to you guys there at home. Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race Day Twin. Never mind. You do join the fight to stop bullying. It does get better. Die Kiss Kid is always happy to see you.